when you're learning about congruent polygons and you're learning about sort of the facts of congruent polygons, one thing to note is that th these realities apply to any polygons that are congruent regardless of shape, size. Uh, it could be in this case a pentagon, in this case one, two, three, four, quadrilateral, triangles. Congruent just means that they are the same uh, and polygon means more than one side, right? And when I say that the two shapes are the, are the same, that means every corresponding, that's the key word, side is the same and every corresponding angle is the same. And so let's look at this one for example. You have these two pentagons. Corresponding would mean that this bottom guy down here would have to be congruent to which over here? The same relative position. So the bottom one here. The left side would be congruent to the left side here. And that's how you designate congruence. The one tick mark matches the one tick mark. The double matches the double. Continuing on, we can say, well, what about the top right and top right? Well, we'd have to give them different tick marks because if we gave them singles, it would confuse us because it might look like it was congruent to him. So the triples match, right, and so on. So same thing about the angles. So these, we could say these are corresponding sides. These two are corresponding sides. Corresponding, corresponding. Well, the angles are the same. The bottom right over here would absolutely match the bottom right over here, right? And one way to do that is you can either just do a little curve mark like so, or you can do a curve mark and a single tick. As long as they match, that's how you know. Let's do another one up here. This would correspond to over here. I'll do a double tick mark to distinguish from this guy, make sure that it looks different, but it matches, right? And so the same thing again, we could do this shape by shape by shape, but I think you're already getting the picture, right? Who corresponds over here? Well, this guy definitely corresponds to this guy and so on, right? This angle would correspond to this angle. Don't be fooled sometimes just to be like creative or maybe even mean, you know, us teacher types. Um, sometimes they'll, um, they'll actually just flip the figure down. Don't be fooled. So obviously it looks like this guy right here is congruent to this guy. They're corresponding angles, so they're the same. This top kind of skinny guy, even though it fell down on its face, would be this one. So we'll go, well, let's give him a double. And then we'll give this guy a triple, a little triple and a triple. And up here I did a curve mark and a tick. Over here I did a double curve. It doesn't matter. The two work as long as you can distinguish um, between them. So that's it. For congruent polygons, you know that every corresponding side is the same and every corresponding angle is the same. And so why is that important? Well, you can actually solve problems like that. So here's a common, a common sort of math question if you have two polygons that are congruent. So here's a perfect example. You have these two shapes, you know, they're kind of weirdly shaped um, quadrilaterals. And you're given some information and the question might say something like solve for X. And I put some decoy values in here, which is common, because basically you're, here's your X and you're saying, oh, I have no idea. I have to solve for this X. What's this picture all about? I have this 19, 36, and 41. All you care about is you know that if these two shapes are congruent, and, and by the way, that has to be mentioned in the question. They'd have to say, these two quadrilaterals are congruent. Please solve for X. You would know that this angle down here corresponds to which angle? You'd look at the picture and you'd say, Wait a minute, this obviously corresponds to this guy here, right? And I know that if I have two congruent polygons, all corresponding angles are the same. They're equal. Same with corresponding sides, but in this question, that's irrelevant. It's all about the corresponding angles. So then it's very simple. I would just say, if these guys are the same, well then, x plus 2 equals 36. And then I'm done. Do a little math. Minus 2 minus 2. x equals 34. And that's my answer. So the first part, the, the hard part is knowing that congruent polygons have corresponding angles that are congruent, and then the math is pretty easy. Okay, so here's, here's another question. So again, there's kind of more information that I need, which is typical of us crafty little math teachers, right? So this one, um, I know they say, okay, these two pentagons are congruent polygons. They're congruent pentagons. Please solve for x. Well, if these are congruent, every corresponding angle is congruent and then every corresponding side is congruent. So really the question is, if this is my x value in this picture, it's referring to this side, which side over here is corresponding, which is in the same relative position in place? Well, obviously left side, left side, these look like they're corresponding, therefore they're definitely congruent. And so now I can just set that equal, set them equal, right? So if these are the same, well then easy, x minus one equals 
29. Do a little fancy, fancy pants math. Plus one, plus one. X equals 30. And that is my um, answer. You know, there could be units, inches, or centimeters, or whatever. But that's how you do it. So I think correspond, or excuse me, I think congruent polygon questions are easy because, you know, really, the only hard part is that sometimes it's not as easy to tell which sides are corresponding, quote unquote. Again, corresponding just means relative same position. So just be careful. Obviously, when these two pentagons are upright and in the same position, easy. This corresponds to this, right? Top left, top left. This angle corresponds to this angle. If they flip the shape around, you really have to kind of pay more attention, but it's the same concept. Just because I tumbled this on a side doesn't mean that I would be confused about which which uh, sides and angles are corresponding. And that's it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that video and hopefully you aced this section.